this is our new goat, Iris. She's a Nubian and Alpine cross. I don't know why, but for some reason I really, really like new pines. And she's got moon spots. She's so pretty. And her name is Iris, so of course she belongs at Sweet Iris Farm. Between you and the chickens, I can't keep holes filled in. Sky digs them, and then the chickens take advantage. The sunflowers always have bumblebees. This is the first time I've actually been able to get these Mexican sour gherkins to grow. And I've only gotten a couple of these off of the plants. Not really enough to do anything with. Maybe I'll plant some more next year. I've got plenty of nice big fat beets. I don't like pickled beets, but I like to can them just plain and then throw them in the oven with salt and pepper and garlic and roast them. These are the cow peas. They didn't really amount to much. Not very many of them, and they're very small. I probably won't grow those again. And my squash, and this one is a really good squash. I will definitely grow this one again. It's sweeter and it fries really well, and it's pretty. I like to grow things that look nice. This is another really good squash. This is an Italian variety. It's also really sweet and fries up well. Which is my favorite way to eat squash. Fried. Peppers didn't do so well this year. Of all the plants that I planted, this is the only one that did anything. Got some more beets. These are candy roaster squash. It's a winter squash. They're orange fleshed and sweet, kind of like butternut squash. But these will eventually get enormous. I'm not sure how well they keep over the winter, so I might cut some of them up and can them, and then save a few and see how they do. But these things are huge, and every day they get bigger and bigger. Shaggy parasol mushroom amongst the beans. This is a black radish, and they get very large, and they're pretty hot, like spicy, spicy hot. What are you doing, puppies? One of the volunteer brandywine tomatoes. And I've got several decent sized butternut squash. These are squash bees. And they frustrate the heck out of my honeybees because every time they land on a flower, it's already full. They look kind of like a mix between a honeybee and a mason bee.
The good mother stallard beans growing on the bean tunnel are drying out really well. I have no idea what kind of corn this is. <laughs> it's a sweet corn and the kernels are growing in an interesting way. No idea. Corn silk has a lot of medicinal uses. I save it and dry it and use it for tea. Here are the black beauty tomatoes. They're getting really, really dark. Dark, dark purple, almost black now. They take a really long time to ripen. They're still pretty hard and green on the bottom. And these are the pink bumblebee tomatoes. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you!